There's no difference between pre-diabetes and diabetes. Pre-diabetes is when your insulin levels are running so high, but your sugars are still okay because it's just taking a whole lot of insulin to keep your sugars under control. Now, the day that your sugar goes out of control, you say, oh, your sugar's are high now because the insulin can't keep it down. You say, oh, you're a diabetic now. And when the patient becomes a diabetic, then you do the angiograms, the CT scans, and you do the work and say, oh my God, all your arteries are clogged up. And you know, but it didn't happen overnight. It took you 20 years to do it, 15 years to do it. That's what made you what you are, diabetes. That means the process actually starts in your 30s and 40s when the bad lifestyle and the sugar intake and the frequency of eating causes hyperinsulinemia. So we think that we can have constantly elevated insulin levels because we're eating every two, three hours and we're eating processed foods and refined foods. So what happens as the years go by, you start having to make a gallon of insulin at each meal. It's not the sugar that's hurting you so much. 20% of the bad stuff in your, in your heart and your arteries and your body and your brain and your kidneys is because of the high sugar, but 80% because of the high insulin. So what happens is that it's the hyperinsulinemia that's hurting your arteries, that's paralyzing your arteries, causing calcification of your arteries, causing hardening of your arteries, so that by the time you become a diabetic, it's too late. So I'm saying to you that this is really one disease, prediabetes and diabetes. It's just a question of where you're gonna draw the line. So you're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna call you a diabetic when your sugar levels are now at 100. So what, at 98 I'm not? Do you see the fallacy in its thinking? But this is how medicine has been. And this is the biggest downfall of medicine.